Okay, year six, algebra. Here we go. Now, I think I have done some algebra with some of you with the top trumps. Uh, I don't think all of you. So I'll pretend you don't know anything about algebra. And here we go. Algebra. Algebra in involves letters or symbols representing numbers. You often need to find out the value of a letter. It's like a puzzle. So if A plus 5 equals 10, what's the value of A? Well, I don't know what A is, but I know that it goes with 5 to make 10. Now, some people at this point would say 15, because they see a 5, they see a 10, and they see an addition symbol. But it's very important you understand the relationship. This goes with this to make this. So A must be less than 10. How much less? 5 less. So A goes with 5 to make 10. I would do a reversal, the inverse. I would make it 10, take away 5, and that will get you that juicy A. A is 5. There's a few ways to do this, which I'll go through in a second. But why don't you have a crack at these ones here? What number can you add to 21 to get 50? The little circly pattern, plus 15 equals 27. Hmm. And 7 times star is 56. Pause the video, have a crack. What are those missing things? And your answers. Interesting. We often use a symbol to represent that missing number. Sometimes it's a letter. So this mysterious P, don't know what it is, but it goes with 43 to make 80. I don't know what the N is either, but it go, it, you four times the N is 24. Interesting. There's a few ways of finding out what the letters are. The first one's called trial and error. It's basically trying different numbers to see if they work. So with 20, 26 plus W is 94, you'll try out some different numbers and see if it works. 80, for example, 26 plus 80 is 106. Whew, too big. 70, well, 26 plus 70 is 96. Again, too big. So we're kind of getting there by guessing. It's all right. I would do trial and improvement. That's where you take the answer and you modify it. So if 70 is too big, it must be less. Try 60. 26 plus 60 is 86. It's too small. So the numbers need to be between 60 and 70. This method does work. It can be a bit long-winded, long but it kind of gets you there by, by trying different combinations out. Hashtag growth mindset. And eventually you get the answer, which is 68. I personally prefer this method, which is called the inverse. It's doing the opposite of what the calculation is. So in this case, it's 26 plus W is 94. Why don't you reverse it? What's the inverse, the opposite of addition? That's right, it's subtraction. So why don't you turn it into 94, take away 26. If you do that, you will get what W is. W is 68. And again, this is D times 9 is 54. What's the, uh, the inverse, the opposite of multiplication? That's right, it's division. So why don't you do 54 divided by 9, and that will get you the D. The answer is 6. Have a crack at these ones here, please. Um, you've got to work out what the letter is. So on the first one, for example, your answer is going to be A equals a number. If it makes it easier, look at this. Ooh, I rearranged the questions, so... That hopefully should make it easier to find the letter. Pause the video now and have a crack. Cool. And the answers. Well, there we go. You'll have some of these today. 6C times 6 is 36. So for this one here, I don't know what C is, but 6C is 6 of those Cs together. Times 6 is 36. Let's look at one, the first one. I don't know what 6C is. If I find out what that is first, then I can get 1C. Shall we see? Find out what 6C is first, then you can find C. Something times 6 is 36. Do the opposite. 36 divided by 6 is 6. So 6C is 6. But that is not your, un your end answer. You keep going until you get 1C or just C. 6C is 6. Divide 6c by 6, you get 1c, or just c. c equals 1. For these ones here, can you have a crack at them? They're going to be multi 
Oh, no, 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 don't look at that. That's the answers. <laughs> All right, let's try again. These ones here have a crack at them, uh, and you end up with K equals and G equals. I hope you didn't see the answers. Pause and go. Cool. And answers. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, now some people will try this today. And this is challenging stuff. I have done Bidmus or Bodmus with you all. Um, and the rules still apply here, as they do everywhere else. But again, take it step by step. Remember Bidmus and Bodmus. Take it step by step. Do the brackets first, if possible. It's not always possible. Copy down these equations, if you will, and do it step by step. And you only finish when you get the value of one of the letters. So if we do the first one. One step at a time. Get rid of the brackets first. I've got 7 times 7 is the same as. This symbol here is equals, which means everything on this side is the same as everything on that side there. So park that. Equals 100, take away 2s plus 1. Close brackets. I can do this side already. 7 times 7 is 49. So that side's 49. Whatever is on this side, it must be the same as 49. Now what? The second side needs to be 49. So 2s plus 1 must equal 51. Why? Because 100 take away 51 is 49. So that there must equal 51. If 2s plus 1 is 51, take away 1. 2s equals 50. s equals 25. Again, it's multiple steps. Apply that growth mindset. The answer will not jump out at you. You've got to go slowly but surely and get there in the end. Have a go at these, please. Cool. You paused it. Unpause. And answers coming at you. I think these are correct. If you get one of the answers in the PowerPoint that's incorrect, I am terribly sorry. There's a lot going on. All right. Uh, and then you're going to go on to this sheet here. Can I find it? I sincerely hope I can. Oh, there's lots of things up. Uh, there we go. Year 6 Algebra. <clears throat> Question number, hot and spicy, mega hot, are you nuts? Challenge. Do me a favour. There's nothing wrong with staying with hot and spicy or mega hot. Those are still very challenging indeed. Are you nuts? Yeah, give it a go. But only pick the challenge if you're feeling super duper confident because it can be quite challenging stuff, hence the term challenge. It's 14 questions. Uh, absolutely do 14, do 28. Do, do all the questions if you would like to. And if you have a look, I'll put all the answers on there as well so you can self-mark. But obviously this is tricky stuff. If you get stuck, absolutely drop me an email on year six at GMGLT and I will do my best to help you remotely. Have fun, good luck, and mark when you are finished. Do not send without them being marked. Thanks very much.